we as a community of people of Sia and in the, uh, in the lake region, we support the Azimio movement, we support the position taken by Azimio, we want dialogue to be advanced and promoted, but within a, fr a framework that is structured and meaningful. We don't want a process that is dead before it begins. So there must be those assurances that Kenya Kwanzaa is serious. One, Kenya Kwanzaa must show good faith by encouraging their leaders to talk in a language that can bring an enabling environment, not a toxic environment, in the discussions and conversations that we're going to have in order to bring the desired changes arising out of the complaints that arose out of the elections of 2022. Having created that enabling environment, the conditions laid out by Azimio of bringing the cost of living down. Kenya Kwanzaa should be the last party coalition of movement to oppose that demand by Azimio. Because in their clarion call, they kept on saying, therefore, the hustlers, the mamambogas, the uh, uh, vijana, uh, small businesses. So if you're truly for mamamboga, why is it you can live in an environment where people cannot afford ordinary com commodities, particularly what they need uh, as foodstuff? on a daily basis. If President Uhuru could make interventions, what are the interventions that you can make now to make our lives more meaningful and sustainable? And I, I'm happy from what I heard about our Lord is saying, I think it was this morning, that Kibaki and Raila, when they took over, the coffers had nothing. You were saying the situation in 2002 was worse than it is now. And therefore, Kenya Kwanzaa should get on with a job. They should stop lamenting and complaining. It is like they still don't believe that they are walking around in State House because they know they lost. Therefore, they must seriously be committed to the issues that have been raised by Azimio. And they're only four. And they don't need reputation. And above everything else, let us remove vitriol and abuse in our political language. I don't know any country where our po politicians talk in the language they talk. I ask the deputy president so to speak if he is one to adopt a reconciliatory language because how can somebody who pretends to be the deputy president of the republic of kenya say that kenya has shareholders everybody born in kenya the moment you're born wherever you're a you're a shareholder by birthright not because you voted for Azimio, because voting is a political choice under uh, uh, the Bill of Rights. Therefore, I believe that time has come within this week for President Ruto and Kenya Kwanzaa to come clear on these issues that have been put on the table. I think we have got a good team. They are a sober-minded team, and I do not think they will uh, play uh, sideshows if the concrete agenda in on the table will be the ones which we are going to discuss with the, the side or opposite. And uh, I, for one, if I truly speak from the bottom of my heart, the Kenya Kwanzaa team 
they, they do not have any good faith at all. They have no good faith at all. They may be taking us for a ride. And these measures that have been taken by Raila Molodinga to go back to the people uh, through uh, uh, beginning today and having a Komkunji on Sunday will be a reminder that they cannot take us for granted and they cannot take, take Kenyans for a ride. there is need to change after consultations i think there will be some changes or additions or subtractions uh, allow me then to uh, invite Kadima Ben, representing the MCA's office. Consulate Aweno, EMC Mayor. 